Uncle Jack foisting a new video on you. And I do hope you like the new temporary jingle. I did it myself. Today we're going to be talking about the cancellation of Boba Fett movie, as reported by John Nolte from Breitbart. This week's cancellation of a feature film starring the bounty hunter about character Boba the Fett tells us just how much trouble the Star Wars franchise is in. Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy finally bit the bullet this week, finally revealed what we all knew to be true, that the Star Wars movie universe is contracting, shrinking, and doing so in a very serious way. Now, this is very interesting. Um, it only took uh, movies that we didn't ask for, bad movies, for them to realize that, hmm, maybe they're going about things the wrong way. So... If you recall, the original plan was for Kennedy and Disney to marvel the Star Wars series to mine the mythology and wealth of characters in a way that would guarantee a mega hit for Disney once or twice a year. <laughs> After the mind-boggling success, eh, all right, capitalizing on nostalgia, um, which they, the John Nolte actually mentions, the 2015's Force Awakens, that all seemed possible. The country was crazy for Star Wars. It was 1977 all over again. Well, yeah, of course it was. It was like I took a... I wasn't even alive in 1977, but I might as well have taken a, uh, uh, the DeLorean time machine back to 77 and watched The New Hope because that's basically what the movie was. And it capitalized on that. Um, so, on top of this latest trilogy, and what is known as the Skywalker Saga, um, we, uh, there would be spin-off sagas, and these spin-offs would almost certainly result in sequels and franchises of their own, with spin-offs of the spin-offs, and then finally spinning off into lunchboxes, toys, cereal boxes, greed, uh, just the cash cow. That's all they really wanted. They saw easy money, and they figured no matter what they split out, they would people would suck it up because it was Star Wars. That didn't really happen. Um, it was all so exciting. The most iconic franchise in the history of movies had returned, and we were off. There was just one tiny problem. The movies weren't very good. Uh, we loved The Force Awakens in the theater. Eh, it was okay. Um... It was entertaining. It wasn't a very good Star Wars movie. The pacing was a little weird. The characters were started out a little interesting, and the more I watched them, the more I didn't like the characters I was watching. They Trump they built up the hype about Mark Hamill reprising his role. We didn't get him until the last five seconds. Yeah, it was it was kind of lame. Eh. So and why did you kill off Han Solo? Oh, the most beloved and popular character in the franchise. Oh, well, at least we still have Luke and Leia. Am I right? <laughs> then came Rogue One, a prequel and original Star Wars, a movie which I could not finish because it was so boring. Uh, I actually went all the way to the end to watch the Darth Vader um, scene because that, you know, that was more interesting. I didn't really get into the movie. It wasn't really for me. I heard it was a popular movie, but I didn't really see the appeal. It just didn't feel like a Star Wars movie. It felt like uh, Saving Private Ryan or something like that, except for the star, you know, the Darth Vader appearance. Um, and then came The Last Jedi, and this is when it all came together in a bad way. Now, I'll be the first to admit I've never seen this movie. Um, I was really hyped out for it. I don't really have a lot of opportunities to go to the movie theaters, um, so I was going to hold off until I heard or read or s saw any kind of reviews. And they weren't glowing. Um, being a lifelong Star Wars fan, I was dismayed at what I... I was willing to be um, spoiled on endings and plots, and I was... I was really glad I didn't spend the money to go to see the movie. I was pretty disappointed by what I found out, and I wouldn't have seen it. Um, I probably would have walked out of the movie theater. Um, so I I know enough about the movie to understand what the plot and how it progresses to, you know, to understand the movie. Um, but I can see why, I, I can understand why people were upset by it, um, by what I know from the movie. 
And then he goes on and talks about Kathleen Kennedy and uh, wokeness and killing off Luke, which was pretty bad. Um, yeah, the most he he was the um, one of the most iconic characters ever. Um, the picture of optimism wouldn't kill his own dad, and then they have him trying to kill Kylo Ren. That's just interesting. Um, yeah, and then we got a, a movie based on Han Solo. And who doesn't want to see Solo? Well, we didn't ask for it. <laughs> and then he has, you know, Solo's got this, you know, creepy love bot. It's got Pando Calrissian and the whole weird thing going on with them. You got a guy playing on Solo who's a lot shorter than Harrison Ford. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's weird. It was just a strange movie. And, you know, even the, he mentions that the, even the prequels didn't flop, even with problems like Jar Jar Binks, um, bad directing, uh, questionable casting, um, odd and awkward dialogue. Um, but it, they still made money, and they still felt like Star Wars. They still were in the same vein. They, they, they respected the franchise and the universe that was created. And, um, you know, so now we, we're stuck. What do we got now? We get, we have no Boba Fett. We have no Obi-Wan. Um, we have episode nine is coming on. We, we don't really know what's going on with that. And he mentions what, you know, we, what we have. We have some questionable, um, we got some questionable uh, TV shows. Uh, I mean, uh, Resistance. I mean, I've watched a trailer. It's got thousands upon thousands of thumbs down. It's it's very funny, um, and it's, you know they make excuses about being marketed towards kids. But man, I watch some. I watch a lot of cool ca- cartoons Saturday morning, and uh, not Sunday night before school, and they were all awesome. And uh, this is not awesome. I wouldn't have watched this when I was a kid. Um, this Mandalorian show might be interesting, but, uh, it might, they might be pulling a fast one on us with that one too. Uh, you know, bringing back the Clone Wars is cool, but will it be the same or will it suck? <laughs> you know, you can never, you can't bank on Star Wars being quality anymore. That's the problem. Um, so now basically he, he mentions that after without the spin-offs of the actual movies, the ones that hold the weight where they need to be on, on the movie screen, uh, the franchise is kind of dead. Where do they really go for it? They're going to have periphery things, and that's it. They don't even have video games, really, except for Battlefront. They canceled that um, Boba Fett movie or Bounty Hunter movie, whatever, or uh, video game. They, they canceled a bunch of other projects that were in the pipeline when they closed down LucasArts. Um... For the uh, the video game division, it's yeah. So anyway, I mean, it's I'll I'll leave a link of the, of this article in the description. But uh, yeah, this is this is a very good article because he doesn't really mince words. I kind of skimmed through it, uh, but he didn't really mince words about where the franchise is going and what Boba Fett like really owning up and saying uh, we're canceling Boba Fett. What that really kind of portends, and it's it's. It doesn't portend anything good. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this nice little short video about this article. I found it a very interesting read. And uh, so thank you for sticking with me. And uh, hey, this is Jack saying keep your eyes on the horizon. You have yourself a fabulous evening. Today's news has been brought to you by Yum Yum Cakes.